Hi, everyone. I'm retired meteorologist and sometimes backyard gardener and sometimes backyard astronomer. But today it's more or less about the weather. So we're talking about Tuesday, February the 18th, and we're seeing an increase in cloud cover across our region. Also, what's coming up? Well, winter is not over yet. I have daffodils in bloom right now. And looking at those, you can see those bright yellow blooms uh, uh, popping out of the ground. Also, the winter gardens are going strong right now with the cabbage, the broccoli, the cauliflower, and the broccolini. And the potatoes, I had some carry over from that hard freeze we had in January and uh, got new potatoes in the ground. They haven't popped up yet, and thanks goodness, because we have another strong cold wave coming this week. Way. It looks like another one behind that yet for the end of February going into early March. So talking about the weather, let's get into it. First of all, the satellite imagery is showing clouds and continue to increase across our region this afternoon and a large portion of the center and east part of the country is, is under cloud cover right now and this is associated with a winter storm that could be developing and is developing uh, across the uh, country and look at the weather advisories winter storm watches and warnings all the way from the northwest into montana into uh, uh, portions of utah back into the central plain uh, nebraska and kansas over into missouri oklahoma arkansas i mean all these states are under winter weather advisories winter storm warnings in effect for a large portion of the uh, eastern half of kansas into missouri uh, the ozarks they're expecting about a half foot to a foot of snow there and across flooding kentucky kentucky has been deluged with terrible weather this winter and they're getting more uh, bad weather they just had uh, four to six inches of rain and now they're getting about four to six inches of snow on the way across Kentucky going into West Virginia all the way down into the northern portions of Georgia chances for some mixed precipitation maybe an inch or two of snow in the extreme northern portions of Georgia and into Alabama and then a winter storm warning again for the Washington DC area Baltimore Maryland uh, into uh, uh, the eastern and northeastern portions of North Carolina all right let's take a look at the jet stream right now because that's being uh, the important player at this time and the jet stream has been coming down from the northwest uh, over the um, last several days there you can see the jet stream it's plunging down from the uh, northwest portions of canada into the ohio river valley uh, then off the mid-atlantic coastal states and that's producing the very cold weather conditions across uh, the upper portion of the country into the northeast and here we have the subtropical jet stream still continuing to flow across our region keeping us somewhat warmer but still it's not all that warm we have a uh, temperature still below the normal normal high for this time of the year in the savannah area is around 67 degrees we're not anywhere near that and we're not going to stay anywhere near that either over the next several days all right looking at the maps this is the ecmwf the european center for medium range weather forecasting and it shows a storm developing in the nation's midsection from the uh, uh, Kansas into northeastern Oklahoma and southwestern Missouri and that's going to develop and move eastward over the next several uh, hours into the next couple of days and as it does it's going to be pushing snow across the uh, Ohio River Valley Tennessee Valley as we just saw on the advisories but for us it's producing a rain system across the southern Mississippi Valley into southern Mississippi and Alabama into south Georgia and then that's going to be moving across the greater Savannah Hilton Head area uh, over the day on Wednesday, that's tomorrow, and then the snow continues to move off to the north of that in North Carolina and Virginia and Maryland, southern Delaware, uh, pushing off toward the east. And what behind that system is this surge of cold air coming down uh, from the north, and that's going to bring sub-freezing temperatures across our area for uh, Thursday night particularly and Friday uh, so we're looking at Wednesday night and Thursday nights, basically with sub-freezing temperatures across our area uh, going into Saturday as well before it warms up a little bit. But then as we go into time, we do warm up uh, over the weekend, uh, but high pressure continues to dominate. Another system develops near the middle and end portion of next week and going into the following week we see another surge of very cold air uh, this is for the end of february uh, you know, the uh, last of february the beginning of march another surge of very cold air uh, will be coming down into the southeast and eastern portion of the country and that will probably if this is true 
I mean, we're looking at now um, um, 240 hours in advance. That's 10 days from now. Anything can change with these models, particularly during this time of the year. But anyway, we're looking at another surge of very cold, sub-freezing temperatures across the southeast and the eastern portion of the country. So we'll have to keep that in mind. Well, speaking of the uh, precipitation, this is the forecast snow amounts uh, for the next 48 hours. And you can see that band of snow from the northwest all the way across the Ozarks into the Ohio Valley, Tennessee Valley, and into the Mid-Atlantic Coastal States. Let's take a closer view at that. Now, looking at the Ozarks, we can see quite a bit of snow expected out there from southeastern Kansas, northeastern Oklahoma, all of the central and southern portions of Missouri into the northern portions of Arkansas, anywhere from a half foot to a foot or more of snow for that region, extending into western portions of Kentucky, and about a half foot or so of snow across just about all of Kentucky going into West Virginia, and then also the northern portions of the uh, uh, state of Tennessee and northern and central portions of North Carolina. Just a little bit in the extreme northern portions of Georgia expected out of this system. And if we go further to the east, we can see that slow uh, picks up a little bit in intensity across the mid-Atlantic coastal states from eastern North Carolina, um, northeastern North Carolina, eastern Virginia, and southern portions of the uh, Dalmarva Peninsula uh, expected to see the snow there. All right, temperature is the next big issue across the uh, country and across the southeast as well. Temperatures uh, by uh, Friday morning will be down below zero across the central plains, upper and middle Mississippi River Valley, and then dropping down into the 20s all the way into northern portions of Florida. All right, let's take a closer look at that. And we can see those temperatures uh, will be in the uh, 20s across a large portion of Georgia and South Carolina, low 20s at that, even in the teens in northwestern Georgia, uh, in and around the Atlanta metropolitan area, right around 20 to the upper teens there. All right, let's take a look at the, this is for um, Friday morning. Uh, so Thursday night, Friday morning. And looking at the Saturday um, morning or Friday night, Saturday morning, again, we're seeing a cold temperatures in the upper 20s to lower 30s, so warmer but still below freezing across many areas around the uh, 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 greater Savannah Hilton Head area, Statesboro. Even Brunswick and St. Simons will be flirting with the temperatures at the zero, uh, the uh, uh, 32 degrees, zero degrees Celsius, uh, 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And then going into um, Saturday night, Sunday morning, warming up a little bit. We're seeing those lows in the 30s, uh, 20s off to the north and north Georgia, northern portions of South Carolina. And then going into the um, Sunday night, Monday morning, uh, we can see even more moderation in the temperature. So Things will be warming up a little bit, and then by um, Monday afternoon, we should see temperatures about normal for this time of the year in the middle 60s to upper 60s for the high, but still more cold air will be following this. Let's take a look at my website, savannapat.name, and uh, there you can see, here we go, let's bring it up to the top right here. Uh, there's my forecast right there. We can see temperatures... Uh, dropping down into the middle 30s on Wednesday night after a, a day of rain on Wednesday, uh, about a half inch or more of rain possible widespread across our region. Then the sky clears off, but the temperature drops. Uh, in the middle 20s for the Savannah area, it'll be low to middle 20s inland uh, for Wednesday night, Thursday morning, and then Thursday night, Friday morning uh, in the upper 20s to lower 30s, and then moderating a little bit with temperatures getting back into the mid 60s to upper 60s by Monday. But will it last? Chances are no. <laughs> The six-week outlook is not looking very good if you're waiting for spring because it looks like, well, maybe that groundhog was right. Uh, the uh, conditions are for temperatures to average below normal for the next three weeks across the southeast United States, including the greater Savannah, Brunswick, Hilton Head, Statesboro area, Beaufort, South Carolina, Hampton, South Carolina, below normal temperatures. But normal high is a little bit warmer than it has been in January. Now we're seeing normal highs in the mid to upper 60s throughout this period. But then uh, 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 about a little less than four weeks away is St. Patrick's Day in Savannah. I think it's on a Monday this year. And temperatures will be uh, 
about normal or slightly above normal. So with that, we'll see some, hopefully, some great weather coming in for all the festivities here in the greater Savannah area. All right, well, thanks for watching, and uh, uh, and thanks for signing up for my email list. If you'd like to sign up for my email list, uh, uh, there you can have the see the link uh, below uh, in the comments section. And uh, hopefully I'll be sending out videos uh, on the email list as well as weather information. Also, you have your choice of whether weather, gardening, or astronomy, or uh, any of the select uh, that you would like to have. Uh, anyway, thanks for that, and thanks for supporting this channel. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to get out working in the garden over the next couple of days because even though it's cold, spring is on the way, and I got to have that garden ready when spring gets here. So with that being said, see you later. Stay dry. Bye.